One other thing, in addition to the contract, do you send a, a writer, an event information form? Because there's a lot of a lot of little details that may not necessarily be in the contract. What else do you send with the so agreement? Anything money related should go on the contract, including if you wanted to buy books and things like that. We really want to plant the seed for getting a book in everybody's hand in the contract and send books with the contract. Anything money related should go on the contract. Everything else could go on a rider or an AV form. So how you want the room set up, <coughs> all of that can go on the AV. Anything about recording, this is where COVID has gotten really funny with regards to recording because so many things have gone virtual. I think a lot of clients just take it for granted that, hey, you're going to give us your intellectual property and then we're going to get to share it as much as we want to. So that's where you may want to lock it down and say the recording is for internal use only and for a particular amount of time. So how can they use it? Be really specific about that in the recording. That should probably actually go right in your contract. But then on the AV writer, you would put all of the other things that you might need to be able to do a great job for them. Tell yeah, them yeah. what kind of equipment you're bringing and all of that kind of stuff. One other thing that I know I've run into a couple of times, most of the time it wouldn't be an issue, but something we ended up including in our contract was if we were planning on, if they didn't pre-buy books or didn't pre-buy whatever resource is putting in there that we had the opportunity to sell those. Mm -hmm. So like, again, I can only think of like once or twice where they said, now nah, we, we don't allow any back of the room sales, but just so that there's no surprises that you don't show up at the event with all your, your Oops. gear. And they're like, well, what is it? We didn't yeah. talk about this. So um, six foot table back of the room, you might even ask them for a volunteer or mm -hmm. two and let them know that you'll gift them some books, the people who volunteer and they love most organizations are happy to do that. Yeah. But yeah, so you're putting clauses in. we won't do a hard pitch from yep, the yep. platform, but we'd love to do a book signing, blah, blah, blah. And actually you could call it an auto graph session because that kind of raises the level of celebrity a little bit. Very smart. Well, I think it sounds like the overarching idea that I think we're definitely both on the same page is put all this stuff in the agreement, make it look pretty and fancy, but ultimately like when a situation arises that may or may not be addressed in agreement, like really think through how do I make this a win for the client? 